Hi, John Flynn, how are you? Probably advertising. Happy Friday. Yes, Friday. So, we're here to talk about today is recruitment and AI, artificial intelligence and recruitment. Oh, sounds very exciting. Sounds very futuristic. Sounds like Elon Musk is on the case here. Got bad news for you. Yes, bad news. AI, AI is just in kind of in a very infantile stage right now. And, you know, it's great at like sorting things and asking clients questions on the website. Like, well, how many years experience here? Plus, plus A, B, or C. And then if they plus A, they go here and B, they go there. So it does, you know, kind of sort things out on a very rudimentary level. Um, so I don't see it, you know, down the road, yeah, I save people a little paperwork, but you know, right now, right now you don't need it. You know why? You can't even get your landing page fixed. <laughs> don't worry about AI, right? It's just like, you know, you know the guy who just starts playing golf? I hate golf, so it's not me. But you know the guy who starts playing golf and he comes to the course for the first time with his friends and he has like, the uh, duh thousand dollar clothes and the five thousand dollar clubs and the new everything and it's just spark. Dude, you haven't even taken a swing yet. <laughs> you haven't even taken a swing yet. You probably need only three of those clubs in that bag, right? Just three, and you're already investing this money in this stupid thing, AI. Please, you got so many things to worry about besides AI, okay? First of all, you gotta get your landing page fixed so you're not sending it to a 20-page application because most traffic is on people's smartphones. Nobody's going to read a 20-page application, let alone interact with it on their smartphones. Not going to ever. Zero. Zero chances of that happening. B, you got to get a landing page together that's customized to the jobs you want. You might want nurses, right? So you do nurses and then you do two videos. Like, hi, I've been in the nursing community 20 years working here and I love it. Or oh, hi, I'm a nurse, been here six months, I've already got two promotions. Fast promotional track. That's what people are looking for, right? Besides money, they look for money. Absolutely, money, 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 but there's other factors that you could play into this, right? Corporate culture, you know, promotional track, you know, transparency, you know? Is everybody there an asshole? That's a big one, <laughs> unfortunately, most of the time. Well, you know. So anyway, so you know, you have to go by that and then you go by, you got a Facebook pixel on there, right? That's going to a Facebook campaign that you're gonna run a retargeting campaign. Do you have an email capture with an email magnet? You know, you have a magnet that says, you know, the five ways to get the best possible nursing job on the planet. Put your email here. Put their email here, they get the magnet, then you keep emailing once a week with the email information. Uh, and then uh, we have a mobile marketing campaign that's using the exact demographic you need, right? We break down by geo, demo, brand, and behavior. We have four breakdowns, right? To get the exact traffic you need and we track it to make sure we're hitting the same level with our retargeting comp comp uh, campaign capability. <laughs> then we're sending all that to your site, right? And then, you know, everything's going well. We're tweaking everything. <laughs> And then when someone does press interest, right, they hit application and they put their phone number in or something like that, you call them today. Today. Call them today. Call them today and say, hi, here's the app, fill it out. We want to love to have you come in tomorrow. When did I say? Tomorrow. Please come in to get them in as soon as possible. Soon as possible, right? The more you draw them in, the more they're gonna wait for you to make a decision. As opposed to these other idiots out there waiting two weeks to get back here. Here's the application. Well, yeah, we got back to in two weeks. No, not in this economy. No, 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 no. 3.9% unemployment and we're growing. There's 7 million job openings. If you give everybody a job that's unemployed right now, there's still be 100,000 jobs left over. Think about it. Think about it. So you're in no position. I mean, you, you want the best and brightest. Don't get, don't hire crap ever. Okay, that's really bad for your corporate culture. But in order to get the good people, you gotta move fast, right? Bring them over, give them free popcorn, show them all the free candy, throw them in a conference room for two, three people, nothing heavy, right? Having a cup of coffee, maybe a little pizza, and send them on their way, right? Then you get good feedback from them, and then the application comes in. Don't do a formal interview right now. Just bring them in, feel them out. You know. Then you get the application back, you bring them in for an interview, you know, do, 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 and make a decision as fast as humanly possible. Okay? You obviously, you want to, you know, vet people, get the best and the brightest, but speed. Keep these people in the loop. Text them. Call them. Facebook Messenger. Do you know there's a company there that just 
tax, that's the, the recruitment thing is the, oh, come on, people. Really, that's gonna be a thing. We need a company just to learn how to tax. Anyway, so, um, you know, I, I like Facebook Messenger. You know, have them like the corporate uh, Facebook page and then they could send out little messages to it. You know, do that, do that, <laughs> do that. So, I mean, there's a lot of things to do, but you gotta stay, gotta stay close, right? You know, if they push back, then fine. You know, that's fine, you know, but you know, you want to make sure you're the one reaching out. So there's no reason to worry about AI right now. None. You're not even in the universe to worry about it right now. Let's get your landing page fixed, right? Let's get your conversions, right? I could track conversions. I could track conversions. I got no problem tracking conversions. The only problem I have is you're screwing up on your end. Messing with my conversion ratio. So you can't, you, yeah, if you want me to track conversion, that's fine. You got to listen to what I'm saying about your landing page. That's fair, right? That's fair. <laughs> Bill Parcells is a former coach. Uh, the Giants and the Patriots, he used to say, um, you want me to cook, you gotta let me buy the groceries. Okay, you know what I'm saying? John Flynn, Cobbler Advertising.